Chapter 1 The Golden State You know, sometimes before a metal detecting hunt, just to pump myself up, I just get in character. Far out, man. Today, we're going to drive to California. All the other states are kind of lame, brah. Hang ten. Hang ten. Actually, that's going to be kind of far. That's bogus, brah. Bogus. This is really far, man. Maybe it is California. Anyway, man, what I'm trying to get at is in California, there was a gold rush. And maybe if we hit gold... What I'm trying to articulate is it, it, it's fun to find gold with a metal detector. But, oh, you, you see what I'm getting at, man? Coherent and insightful metal detecting instruction is coming, but we're not quite there yet. Here we go, man. California. That's the exit to California, man. Look at that up there, man. This must be the bridge to California. Or maybe not. Where are we going, man? California's foggy. Well. And now it is time to get serious. I'm meeting John at the beach. And let's not scare John with the California accent. <laughs> Oh man, I see three people on the slope. <laughs> so, uh, we're certainly efficient. It's always good to see people, but uh, we're quite efficient. Might have to get in the water. Hmm. One second. It's John. Good morning, everyone. How's it going? Good. Anything good? Uh, Zinkins. All right, well, we're getting Zinkins Not off the deep. beach. Yeah, deep Zinkins. All right, we might have to get a little bit more in the water, but. Yeah. That's all right. It's good exercise. Yes. Go, go, go. Go, baby, go. Yep. Here comes that uh, coherent instruction that I promised you. Beach dynamics, let's go and let's talk about the summer. This is going to be covered in an entirely different video. But uh, figure 1B, summer conditions on the Southern California coast. Lower overall coastal erosion. All right, let me be normal. Lower wave energy. This is the one I want you to see. Sediment, sand, migrates onto beach. Higher sand levels in the summertime. Early June is the start of storm season, and you really start to get eroded beaches later on in the year. But let's see how we did in California and the sandy beaches there. Well, would you look at that? My kids are too old for this. Hey, brah, I got a Matchbox car for you. No thanks, brah. I'm boycotting Matchbox cars because they're made in sweatshops. Bogus. Oh my God, we're like 45 minutes in. I'm getting my first signal other than that toy car right now. Yeah, we got some beads. And this is what rang up. Oh, we are on the Zinkin. It is a Memorial Penny. How about that? It's a pipe. How about that? It's a pipe. Oh, we got Corona. Zinc. But like they say in Ireland, if you got a sandy beach with too many detectorists on it, at least you make some friends. All right, we just made a new friend. This is Craig. So we are detecting and uh, Hoping we uh, hit some good stuff. Don't annoy the crazy person. Note taken. Note taken. Don't annoy Craig if he's alluding to the fact that he's the crazy person. I, I know, you know, I, I can fit into that category too. <laughs> yep. Okay, you gotta, you gotta be a little crazy to have this in your hand. No doubt about it. <laughs> Chapter two. All the signs. Summer is quite the metal detecting paradox. So you get the fresh drops. It happens in summertime, but it's also sand season. Okay, surfers in the water. Let's go.
Take one did not work. Take two. Let's see how we do. Repeat after me. Green and heavy. That's what you're looking for on the beach. Now look at the coins on the left. This is what you are looking for. This is something that has been exposed to the elements for a long period of time. If they look like this, they're fresh drops. Now as for heavy, I did a search old fishing sinker. Take a look at these. You know, this is something, look at the color right here. It's kind of like a powdery gray. Now, if you see something like this and you see the gold pin up in here, the hook, uh, that has not been in for a long period of time. This has. So if you're seeing old fishing sinkers, oh, you dig that area very slowly. We got signals. Go. Chateau Zinc 2013. Zinc. So far, it's all zinc. I might have walked into a patch. It's three signals, close proximity. Zinc. That patch is over and it is time to walk. So we're gonna do our V-shapes. Even if it's zinc, you take every patch seriously. If you see targets in proximity, you spiral out till you get all of them. Of course it's zinc. Jimmy. Best signal of the day. Piece of uh, beach junk and very light. So we're moving on to the next beach. All right, I'm a little excited. I just found an area of really hard packed sand. Everything has been soft to this point. Hard packed sand and this, you haven't seen these on cans in a minute. Like late 80s, early 90s. So um, if that's here, uh, under detected, let's see. Well, on the board with something, uh, it's costume jewelry, you know, something different though. So there's a pretty incredible slope down the beach. I'm only finding light stuff. I'm going to keep with it, but, um, yeah, by eye, it looks really good. But, um, by what I'm finding, everything is light. Zinc. All right. Zincan, we're at a new section of the beach, new jetty. We're in the rocky stuff right now. This is a bottom. This is what it really doesn't pass through. So, uh, you know, it's been, I've been getting skunked this whole time, but uh, there's always hope, especially when you see this. This is a sign of a low beach. Yeah, that was hopeful, Merrill talking, and it was anything but a low beach. The summer is anything but a low beach. When you're over by the jetties, uh, it doesn't get the same flow of water. By, as other parts of the beach and that's what was happening we have a low beach there because it's just affected by the jetty that's pointing out we're walking today this is a good signal mid 60s nope light nope well this changes the game a little bit doesn't it this was deep this was a good i mean it's covered now that was a good 12 to 16 inches deep but it's heavy. Now the color of that, it's been in the water for a while. That is slowing me down. Now here's the thing. I can't be too slow because the tides are coming in. Um, but if I go too fast, I'm gonna miss. But I, I wanna really be careful in this area. Here we go. In the area where I got that uh, sinker. All right, we got some green on this. This has been in for a while. This is where we want to be, green and heavy. You can see up here, there was a beach cut at some point very recently. Hearing back. Double tapping, broken zinking. All right, we're in business, green nickel. Problem is this, water, go, go, go. 89.90, dimmy. Another green nickel. I got no time to show you the ring ups. Uh, tides are coming in too fast. Go, go, go. Heavy yunk. We've got a broken crucifix here. Fishy, fishy, thingy, thingy. Green nickel. Notice how the fines are changing. This is very light, but uh, eh, fishing related. Um, it's like a washer thingy. Got a clip or something. It's a quarter. 
that's what I'm talking about big fishing weight this one is broken but it looks like it's been in for a while that's what I'm talking about Jimmy this beach has all the signs nails oh we're finding a ring today go well that goes to show that you could have all of the signs of getting something great gold you know I told you green and heavy they were there but not yet. We got good stuff coming, though. Bye. Chapter 3. Metal Detecting Ring Season. A year ring in review. Did I say that right? I'm trying to say this is all the rings and gold that I've gotten in a year that's been very busy for me. You might know I started a new job. Um... Let's see, so this is 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 and a half. <laughs> so we got 31 and a half rings uh, so far this year. We got other gold. These three are gold. And, um, you know, I think I'm still on pace for 100 because the second half of the year is really the time that you get your rings. And, uh, I really think, uh, even though I have less hours to do this compared to past years, this is on pace for 100 rings. The amazing thing about the beach is if you give it time, it has predictable outcomes, meaning that somebody drops something. You can largely predict where it lands if you know your beach. Every beach is different. The biggest factor is wave speed, which is uh, contributed to by wind speed. So once you figure that out about your beach, you could predict uh, the seasons uh, late in the year, which is uh, almost always the case uh, in North America, and uh, it might be different in other areas of the world. But when the beach is low, you know that's when you could really, really get some good stuff. But right now, it, it's push-in season. It's pushing in. It can be dropping down, and uh, eventually uh, it could be bonanza when it comes off, when the sand comes off the beach. You know, my favorite type of detecting is night detecting. It's just so darn peaceful. So uh, we're going to change the battery of my GoPro. Darn it. And then we're going to do some night detecting. Oh, yeah. Where were we? Metal detecting. Okay, let's go metal detecting we got signals and this sounds large great I got a wire to something this comes out great okay now we earned a trip to the garbage this rang up like iron and I don't know what it is dog tag perhaps nice and loud 91 proud owners of a fresh drop dimmy Notice the color of these coins and the luster. These are all fresh drops. I, I came a day after uh, a big weekend at the beach and uh, the place was packed. These are fresh drops from them. Beautiful mid-tone right next to it. I'm sure it's a nickel. Unblemished nickel. All right, here we go. Double tap. 55. Now that is too low to be a nickel. And we got it. Let's see what we got. We might be walking into a patch. I just heard another beep. I see you. There we go. We got some bling jewelry. Okay. On board. 96. Probably a quarter. Quarter. I thought I had another bottle cap, but no I don't. Caught by the jewelry catcher in the honey badger school. We got an earring. Cool. Tell you what, I'm gonna only show you if it's an interesting ring up like this. 
solid 67. Oh boy. This is going to be a good night. Yeah, these were drops today. Yeah, this was just a bottle cap, but the sea has not had this time to uh, sort itself out. Let's just go get it. 69, solid, not jumping around at all. Unfortunately, somebody was nervous and fidgety and pulled this off their can. Zinc. Zipper. I can't believe what I'm seeing. So I saw this. And I saw the front. This is a screw-on of a fuse. Oh man, it looked just like a ring. It looked just like a ring. At this point, you might have guessed that uh, rings are my favorite thing to find in metal detecting. And uh, I'm authoring my first book on beach detecting, Merrill's Guide to Finding Rings with a Metal Detector. It applies to other forms of jewelry too, but uh, it's, it's, there's advice in here that is tailored just to finding rings uh, also. Uh, but uh, you'll learn a lot about the beach and I, I anticipate that uh, it'll be out uh, probably within a week. Yurink. Uh, I thought it was half a ring. It's not. It's uh, just aluminum. We are on the board. Here we go. Okay. Well. I believe we got 925. Nice little silver ring. It rang up like that. It rang up at an 80. That would be like 1920 on the Equinox. There we go. Ring number one of the night. I have a feeling there's going to be more. Just with the uh, volume of uh, signals, we got quite a number. So let's keep going. We will call this number 33 on the year. It doesn't have any engravings whatsoever. Uh, the silver test is a lot more complicated than the gold test. So we'll just say nice ring and uh, go on to the next. Happy to have it though. As for the rest of the night, let's summarize. Zinc. It's a quarter. It's a quarter. It's another quarter. These are all fresh drops. No, uh, no discoloration whatsoever. Nickel, fresh drop. Nickel. Jimmy. Jimmy. I tell you, man, sometimes it is just you walk into something great, and other times it is a lot of digging. So I'm sparing you a lot. We got, like, maybe about $5 in change on this hunt, but it was just change. That was the fresh drops that I found. So on to the next. Chapter 4. Revenge of the Equinox, man. We are here with John again. And hey, we're, we're, this time, going, everybody? Yeah, th this time we're trying night. Uh, <laughs> during the day the other day, we got skunked a little bit. But you know what? If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. That's, that's the truth right there. So we try again. I absolutely love the days too, but man is it quirky. And one of the quirks is you have to charge the coil as well as the box. Now here's the thing, it doesn't always connect very well. So my box and my headphones were fully charged, but the coil was not. I had to run back to the car and good thing I had my Equinox. Got something bouncy. Eighteen nineteen. Oh my god, this machine loves gold. First signal. Yes, we did. Equinox, how I have missed you. Oh my god. Okay. First signal. I don't think this is gold. It might be. Oh my god. Hey John! John! Check it out. Oh snap! I don't know how good your eyes are. 
It looks like there's some writing in there. Yeah. Let's see what we got. First signal with the Knox. It was deep too. Uh, I, the coil tech coil, when I, in my hottest that I ever got was at the end of last year. And it was with this coil. And I did not like it in the park, but. Engraving? Yeah, right. See that right there? Right where, right where my pinky is. I do, oh my God. There's writing. There is writing. I wish I had better eyes to help you. There's actually a lot of writing in here. Yes. Well, no, it's, it's a design on the side, and then there's a mark. I I bet you that this is real. Holy crap. I bet you that's real. Oh, my God. Booyah! Yeah, brother. Holy cow. Nice. Okay. Well, the Knox has spoken. It's like, stop it with that dais nonsense. Holy crap. Okay. I'm Knox listening. came back to prove that it's good. The Knox is angry at me. Okay, let's keep going. All right, so this is a tough one. Let's take a, a good, close look. Um, there are rings from Pandora with the markings. It's A-L-E-M-E-T. I, of course, chose the wrong side. There it is. Give me a second. A-L-E-M-E-T 48. So here's the face of the ring. There are rings from Pandora that uh, that are gold. Didn't finish my thought. There are rings from Pandora with A-L-E-M-E-T markings that are 14K. Most are gold-plated silver that I have found before. I see I have some more cleaning to do with the sand. But um, I'm guessing that it's plated, but it has a possibility of being the real thing. It's got some weight. That's the thing. You might be wondering, did I do a acid test? And uh, yes, I did, but the, and it came back as gold. But the problem is, if you have something that's plated, of course it's gonna come back positive. All right, I'm trying to rationalize this. That was the first signal. <laughs> now there's a lot of luck that's involved there. And uh, the dais has been pulling really well, but man, I don't know if it's a combination of these two things, the coil tech uh, with the Equinox, but at the beach, ooh, it is so good. I prefer the smart coil, um, you know, in, instead of this uh, in parks, but at the beach, you could go really, really deep, really deep. The Noxes are speaking, so I'm in a crater right now. This looks actually like... I think that's uh, silver. I think it's silver, too. You want to give it a shot? That's silver. I can tell you right now that's silver. I think I see the engraving. Look right uh, on the um, ear right there. You got a silver... Oh, uh, yeah. Bingo! There you go. haagen has been unlocked. Well done, we sir. Go. Unfortunately, the rest of the night was really, really quiet. Zinc, deep nickel. This beach is heavily sanded. Whole new layer of sand has been pushed up. Or so it seems. Hmm. Whoa. I just found the other shoe. Unfortunately, not my shoe size. Here, probably gonna be zinc. Of course it is. Penny. Zincin. Zincin on the surface. Zinc on the zinc. Would you look at that? Yeah, we got some Ray-Bans. There we go. That's pretty epic. That was just right on the surface there. Ray-Bans, just saying, they average about $100 a pair. All right, got some nice glasses out of this. John just got a pair of uh, nice glasses, too. These are heavy, man. Yeah. These are nice ones. Whoa. 
we, we gotta we gotta take pictures of what we look like in our new glasses oh yeah we gotta do that <laughs> we'll do that later sounds good <laughs> oh i gotta trim mine on Oh, yeah, man. There you go. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. <laughs> and mine's coming next. The lenses are not scratched. And these are the ones endorsed by Tony Soprano. My friend, I hope that you uh, hit that like button. I think it's a good idea if you do. I mean, you know, we started this video in character. You know, California. We're going to end it with me being silly as ever. Anywho, I hope you learned something and hope you had fun. This is Fun Club. Bye.